Hey guys, and welcome back to the 4-1 on Tech. Today, we just wanted to do a quick video and share with you this new AI-powered upscaling feature from NVIDIA called RTX Video Super Resolution. Basically, what it does is, using AI, it upscales stream video content that you play in your Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge browser. So this article explains it in more detail, but today we're going to show you how to set it up and the results you can expect from this. So down here at the bottom of the article, you can see the section called getting started. This is what you need to do to get started with this. So first and foremost, what you are gonna need is an RTX 40 series or 30 series NVIDIA GPU. You're also gonna want the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now you can go to your GeForce Experience app or you can just go right to the website, click on drivers. So here you can see that we already have our selected and the most recent version for our GPU is 53118. Now here at the bottom, you can see that introduces support for RTX video super resolution. So that's what you wanna see. So make sure you have your latest driver. Now you also wanna make sure you have an updated version of either Chrome or the Edge browser. So for us, we have Chrome. So to check that, we just go up to the three little dots here and then go down to help about Google Chrome. And here you can see our browser version 110.0.5481.178. Now on your desktop, just right click and go to NVIDIA control panel. Make sure over on the side, you go to adjust video image settings. And here you can see under RTX video enhancement, you wanna select super resolution. And here it tells you user AI to upscale resolution and reduce compression artifacts on videos played in supported browsers. So that's what it's gonna do. In typical usage scenario, full screen video playback on 1440p or higher resolution monitors. So there's also a number of qualities you can select from one through four four being the highest and it's going to use the most GPU power. So here's a couple of examples with what the footage looks like at 1080p without RTX VSR on and with VSR on. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this one. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to check this out and what you think of it. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.